as I mentioned before, the, the idea of limitation was extremely helpful because limitation always brings challenges. You know, if we don't have everything on our disposal, but we, we have to deal with something very, very simple. And that's when we really become creative. That's kind of like, that's the that muscle that we train to become innovative, I would say. Now, let's say, if we, make, if we make the acquisition of something like a paradiddle, which I believe everybody in here knows what, I, what I'm talking about. Um, once we address uh, the, the st structure of a paradiddle, it's like, what is a paradiddle? What is a paradiddle? Okay, that's a lot of opinions at the same time. So what I believe is a paradiddle is it's a rudiment, it's a, it's a shape, it's an exercise, you know, like whatever you perceive a paradiddle to be and when you practice that paradiddle, okay, so technically you have the grip, you hold the stick a certain way, there's a certain height that you respect, you know, that makes it easier conceptually. You go like, okay, I'm going to lift the stick up like that. You know, you have a concept about how to execute it. You're going to get to a certain, um, you're going to get to a certain level where you're going to be able to execute the structure. Now, whatever, where is the emotional com component in acquiring that, in that acquisition of like practicing? this structure, <clears throat> this is going to be extremely informative. Whatever you do with a paradiddle is going to be expressed in how you acquired it. Let's say, for instance, you know, if you have a seed of an apple tree and you're going to plant that, this is not an apple tree, this is a seed, you're going to plant that, an apple tree is going to grow out of it. Or, you know, so, so like the seed of what it is, is the emotionality. So for me, I choose to think about a paradiddle as a melody, because I believe music is a statistical affair, but it's made out of melody. So for me, a paradiddle has always been a melody and not uh, a sticking pattern. It's always been it's a simple melody. So, if I take this structure, I'm saying, okay, now, how can I create a musical narrative with the structure by playing just this, just this, uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay. Now, you know, there's different ways how I can establish a, a musical narrative, you know, which is usually <clears throat> tension and release that is accomplished by contrasts. Well, which contrast is, uh, you know, like the basic color scheme of the red, blue, and yellow. Well, musically, musically applied to music is, is dynamics. So with dynamics, I can accomplish, I can accomplish um, tension or tempo. Okay, that can, I can create tension, uh, uh, timbre. If I put pitch into a motive, I have melody. S simple melody, but but nevertheless a melody. So all these things, and you know, there's 
there's more that, that help us to establish musical narrative. Um, it's helpful to understand what it's, what it's made out of, you know, so, so you have certain motif that you can create by, by pitch, by, by timbre, by, by, by accents. You know, for instance, you, you take any, uh, any groove or, or, or drum pattern, um, Something like that, you know. I mean, I, I like that pattern because it has a little bit of like different uh, subdivisions and like a little different, it's uh, different components. So you do that, and you do like as a as a mixing console, you know, you start to elevate certain instruments. Mm. Eventually, you can get into like the detail of it with like the phrasing, okay? So, all those inner beats become musical entities and not just a mechanical uh, texture, you know, which is kind of like, this is dependent from like that. So uh, what I learned by doing things like this, I really started to be able to, um, you know, uncouple my inner hearing from what I was playing physically. So my inner hearing really started to like evolve, and, and at some point, anything that you do, you will be you, you have to be able to like hear it first. And if you have a pro, a, a lot of drummers that like come to me and that 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 want to increase their speed, they go like, well, you know, I can really play a single stroke roll on a pad or a snare, or like, <laughs> but yet I can still not play fast, which is their hands are able to play fast, but they don't hear really the musical notations that they, that they want to do. So the problem is not a, is not a technical one, but it's a, it's a, it's a conceptual one. So um, those simple devices or simple meditations, that, as I would rather call it like exercises, because I don't like to exercise, I think, I, I think exercising is for athletes, you know, I, 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 I practice or have been somehow like really opening up the way I, I behave behind my kid and the type of, of decisions that I make. Now, let me give you another example. You know, something... Um, okay, let's say, uh, you know, we have a pattern kind of like a, that involves all our limbs, kind of like a, uh, uh, a triplet pattern. You know, something that like, probably most drummers know how to play. Uh, Foot, right, left. Of course, there's many hybrids, you know, we can use the sticking and so on. But let's just stick with one, the most simple one, which is. Okay, now we can distribute that over, over, over the kit and or orchestrate it and so on. But let's. Stick with a pattern, okay? One pattern that I like uh, uh, to 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 illustrate. 
il illustrate that that concept is this. Now, I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to articulate uh, or elevate every instrument individually. It's very simple, but it's also, you know, already you start to see uh, like certain um, shapes come out of that, you know. Now let's say, you know, once you're able to execute, you know, that independently, and try to put more musical narrative into it. Once you feel comfortable with that, I use the same structure, I use the same structure. You, you can use it over like, you know, uh, you can use groupings of three, for instance, over, uh, over 16 notes, all right? So you have a... Same pattern, okay? It just now goes over, goes over the bar line. So you see now we have more music already with like the same with the same pattern um, because my hearing allows to access that statistical shape and actually you know um, well um, articulate more music with it you know now if I use the same if I use the same um, pattern, let's say, and I, uh, I mean the same sticking, same shape, but I leave the pattern that I lock myself in for, you know, you, know, you do this for like, I don't know, two hours, you know, you start to hallucinate. So and sort of like, you know, then like, a, like the African element really unfolds, you know, it come, comes in. And I think it's important to, to have experienced that when we play this instrument. You know, when the things becomes like, okay, oh, well, I'm not actually, I'm not playing. I don't think I'm still playing. What, what's going on? <laughs> so at that point, you know, um, let's say I use the same structure. Uh, bring the tempo up a little bit.
Okay, so there's not really, you know, um, of course, you know, I can use like odd, odd groupings, but like the basic structure is the same and, and, and it sounds way more complicated or way more complex than it actually is. So um, with this simple pattern, I can, um, you know, uh, uh, create way more music than I would usually do, you know, if I would approach it like, okay, well, I got that one. Well, then I got... We, we can do that, you know, and we, and if this is, if, if we only exploit it to this degree, we're going to lose something because we're going to go, okay, well, now I got to start to, you know, do all the hybrid stuff, you know. Well, of course we can do that, but I think like staying with one pattern and really milk it for, for its potential, I think is a very good idea. And I think then when you're going to start playing things like that, it's going to sound like you. Because you've been doing that meditation and you, and you went uh, through that, uh, you know, you went through that uh, zone of, uh, of, of, of locking yourself out of unlimited possibilities and stay inside where those three zones start to communicate with each other. <laughs> 